distributive property. Let's say we have 3 times 405. So it's the same as 3, multiply open bracket, 400 plus 5. As 400 plus 5 is 405. So what will we do now? You will multiply 3 by the 400 and you multiply 3 by the 5. So the result will be 3 multiply 400 plus 3 multiply 5. Okay, so we'll take 3 times 400, which 1200, plus 3 times 5, which is 15. So this is a distributive property. If you find that there is an, a hard number to multiply, you can just separate it like the 405, make it 400 plus 5. Okay. 1200 plus 15 is 1215. Okay, let's say we have 2, multiply 36. We can make it 2, multiply 40 minus 4, as 40 minus 4 is 36. So it will be 2, multiply 40, and 2, multiply negative 4. So it's 2 multiply 40 minus 2 multiply 4. So 2 multiply 40 is 80 minus 2 multiply 4 is 8. So 80 minus 8 is 72. Exercise 1. 3 times 28. We can say that the 28 is 30 minus 2. So we 3 times 30 minus 3 times 2. So 3 times 20 minus 3 times 2. So 3 times 30 is 90 minus 3 times 2 is 6. So 90 minus 6 is 84. Okay, 6 times 770. So it's the same as 6 multiply 700 plus 70. So it's 6 multiply 700 plus 6 times 70. So 6 times 700 is 4200 plus 6 times 70. 420. So it will be 4620. Exercise 2. If 4 multiply 312 equal 4 times 300 plus n, which of the following is equal to n? Okay, 4 or 12 or 48 or 30. Okay, let's see the value of n, n here. If 3, 4 times 312 equal 4 times 300 plus of course, it's 4 times 12. So 4 times 12 equal to 48. So n is equal to 48. That's it. That's it for today. This part is just for fun.